Hi family, it's Buffy from Buffy's Flavorful Journey. What I'm about to show you is scary. It happened. My Bunt Cake Disasters, and that's plural. This happened over two weeks ago, and it's taken me that long to deal with it and decide to show it to you. Here we go. Okay, let's get started. I'm not going to be defeated by this. I have the sugar, the eggs, and the vanilla in here. And this needs to beat until fluffy for at least three minutes, or until light and fluffy. Start it out on low until we break up the eggs. And now I'm going to put it on high. Okay, we're back. I ended up beating close to four minutes. But this is what it looks like. Now we beat in the mayo and you blend until just combined. So here's my dry ingredients. You begin with the dry ingredients and you end with the dry ingredients and you're going to alternate with the dry ingredients and your wet which is a cup and a third of milk. And each time I add either the dry ingredients or the milk, I'm just going to mix until it's combined before adding the next one. Just until combined. Unplug it. Could move that over there and get the butt pan. Okay. And in it goes. Into the oven. It's preheated at 350 for at least 65 minutes. Pray that when it comes out, it doesn't fall. I'll be back to show you. Timer went off. The cake exploded into the oven. Just a little bit went in there. And it is it's not even cooking at all. Let me close it. I can't clean it up yet because still needs to cook. But at least I'll have it covered a little bit. I know that's the wrong thing to do. You know what? If it, it is fallen. It's a, it's a wrap. I used water this time, like the recipe called for. That's the last of it. I'm gonna be adding my dry ingredients. The last of it. Plug it. Move that out of the way a bit, and I'll show you what happened with the other one. Look at this family. Leaked all over in the stove, had to clean that out, put it back in there, then it burnt. Going in the trash. And I'm not going to reuse this because I got to clean it, so I'm going to get another bump in. 
Oh, I'm gonna wipe off that camera. And I won't pay attention this time. If it's more than three fourths, I'm going to fold on the butt pan. I'm going to get another butt pan. Not having another disaster in my oven. And thus I got a bigger cookie sheet. Okay, let's pour. And I think I can get a little bit more in there, but I'm going to need another bump pan. This is a smaller one than that. Or should I do cupcakes? Because I don't think this is going to be enough to fill that. Uh, decisions, decisions. Let's pour it and see. Might be more than I think it is. It is a little bit more than I thought. I don't think it's going to rise up to get this upper level of ridges, but design. But now, I don't think y'all been praying or praying hard enough. Sweet baby black Jesus. Please. And let this cake defeat us again. The U2 family needs a win. Amen. Y'all see that? <laughs> Done. Yeah, few specs. It beat me. It's straight up. Maybe I'm over mixing it. But it beat me. I'm never going to make this cake again. In my lifetime, and I do me never stick with the box cakes. Because those I can make from scratch, I cannot. Wow. That's all I can say is wow. I can't remember what I did when I made this cake before, but I didn't do that. I found the old 1960s recipe, but I just don't want to make this cake ever again. Well, let's see what happens. <laughs> Well, I heard it release. Or so I thought I did. I left it in there too long. It's been in here 30 minutes instead of 15.
Are we going to have the same problem with this one? Yep. So remember, family, don't leave your butt cakes in the pan more than 15 minutes. Or you'll be scraping the sides like I am, trying to get it out. Not coming. Beautiful. This is just a nightmare. Straight up nightmare. Most of it came out. And get this little bit right here. <laughs> Worst book cakes I've ever made. These right here. Well, again, I'm not making this cake ever again. Taste. I don't know. Well, that's it. 